I guess you're watching this video because your computer is running with an issue here as you trying to open a program that recently installed this error arrived. The program can start because x input 1 underscore 2 dot dll is missing from your computer. It's a somewhat critical error and all you need to do is watch this video patiently and follow that method on your computer. Hello everyone, welcome to Jake Evolution. In this very short video, I'll be fixing this error within 3 minutes, so let's get started. The first thing you need to do is open your favorite browser and search for x input 1 underscore 2 dot dll. You can choose any result you want. In this case, I'll be choosing the first one. I'll put the link in the description. Here you can see few download option based on the architecture and version. To know your computer architecture and version, click on start and search for system information. Here you can see mine is a 64 bit PC. As I'm updated to recent Windows update, so I'll be downloading the top one. I strongly recommend you to read this page, it has other fixing method also. As the download complete, hit open. Here you can see the DLL file. In order to move the DLL, first open this PC, then local C, Windows, and find a folder name System32. There it is. Then click on the download zip, drag the DLL file, and drop. I have already done this, so it is asking me to replace. And click on continue to give administrator access. Before we go ahead, let's check. By typing the enter tag file name, we can see the file is placed in the folder right now. So, job is done for 32 bit user. Can restart your computer. Only if you are a 64 bit user, so open this PC one more time. New volume C. Windows. And this time find a folder named syswow64. There it is. And similarly drag and drop. Check this one more time. Yeah, you can see the file is placed in 64 bit folder too. So job is done for 64 bit users. And finally restart your computer. In extremely rare cases, if the error still occurs, you need to download and install Microsoft DirectX from Microsoft official website and install your program again and that will surely fix it. And that's all. If you follow me step by steps, you'll no longer have that problems left. Please let me know how you feel about this video. And do not forget to like and subscribe.